Hi guys, today I'm in Ankara city and uh, right behind me what you see is the main street of Ankara and uh, I got here like day before yesterday, a wonderful place to be. Let's start the tour, that's Gloria Jeans right there and uh, this video is going to be solely in English. The next video will be converted to will be in Hindi. So I've started right from the beginning of the road. So that's basically Akram Koskum. Uh, his food's really affordable, and uh, it's right at the beginning of the main street. And uh, I had his donor that was superb. I had the rice that was excellent as well. So the products out here are priced really well. Yeah. That's one coffee house. It's fully crowded. That's one side of the street. Choco Labs. And uh, that's what we've got over there. So I really like Ankara overall. It's like, you can see it's like nice and full. I liked it, uh, I prefer it over Istanbul because Istanbul's overcrowded and uh, here the weather's much better. I prefer the weather to be uh, chilly. That's a pet shop. The more the more we head further, the more crowded it gets. So, from here on, things start to kick in. That, I guess, is a bar. So, they've got bars open and uh, it's the second today. And I don't know how uh, people are seated in the bars. So, that's like, it's almost full. And uh, it's about 3 in the noon, not that crowded yet, but in the evening it gets totally jam-packed. Guess whose bicycle you can see parked. Yeah, that's mine. And uh, that's my hostel. It was a wonderful stay. The location is really excellent. That's my favorite, the Starbucks out here. I had one yesterday. Um, I prefer this Starbucks over the other one. There's another one uh, just like about 100 meters ahead and this is again another, don another donor shop. So yeah like uh, So you've got the grocery shops in the lane. There's one nice grocery shop over here. You can get your groceries from there. Clams. I guess about one lira for each. Salmon. A lot of fish around. And uh, you've got your vegetables as well. So that's all what he's got. That's something really nice. Again, another pub that's full, fully crowded. And uh, the weather around here is awesome. That's the best part over here for Ankara. The weather is much better than uh, what you get in Istanbul. And uh, then there's, uh, again, there's not a lot of dryness out here. So your skin remains moist. And surprisingly, the first international bank I've seen in Turkey. Like, it's been 25 days now for me. That's the first HSBC I've seen around over here. And, uh, so, unfortunately, I don't have an account with HSBC. So that's not going to be very helpful. 
they've got a Turkish Airlines office but I have a Pegasus ticket how will it help so the place is really wonderful like I don't know why is it so underrated uh, Ankara city this is the Starbucks I stopped at the Starbucks at uh, the, uh, the, the Starbucks we seen behind was much better than this one the coffee wasn't that good either so that's like it's like uh, kind of the, the other one was much better far much better oh they've got a nice gym upstairs I guess and the Migros as well so that previous area was quite crowded like that's like one of the most happening parts of his of uh, Ankara and uh, other than that other than that you've got a mosque so this is like you've got everything under one roof on the street so there's another the donor joint a little up ahead where I usually eat from and uh, it's quite affordable over there like 15 liras that's like around uh, two and a half dollars for a meal for a combo meal that's really cheap if you know what I'm saying so there there's a tattoo piercing shop if any, anyone wants to get pierced or get his tattoos done <laughs> that's the McDonald's out here again the McDonald's is quite affordable as well I, I'm sure you can see the menu from here it's like priced quite reasonably and uh, like a nice uh, zinger or a how do you call it a double beef patty would cost you around 30 liras that's very cheap especially for me coming from Pakistan I can I just got my Starbucks coffee plus a cheesecake for around 40 liras it was like after a very long time I got to have that so this is the outlet where I usually eat from including that Akram the beef at Akram is good the beef out here was horrible but the chicken was quite excellent so you've got these two uh, donors that you get out over here so if you want I can just share you the menu yeah so that's the menu they've got over here like 15 liras for a meal that's what I usually eat the chicken wrapped in the roti I would call it is quite amazing so that's like here another clothing outlet I think the price quite fair 19 liras 19 liras for for something that's basically for women but it's quite like affordable 19 liras is cheap it's like 400 bucks in Pakistan I don't think I can get even a good banyan for that amount for myself let alone in underwear so then what else do we have around like the squeeze streets quite long it's like almost never ending and uh, they've got a lot of things around like that area was the most happening around you've got a lot of gold people do wear a lot of gold and silver around over here so they've got a lot of gold shops over here uh, 
After coming to Ankara, I I have a little change in plans. I have a feeling that I might be able to survive in this country, like for a little longer than I had initially planned. And the reason for that would be that uh, the weather suits me out here. The people are much more friendlier than they are in Istanbul, and. Uh, other than that uh, what else it's the capital as well yeah for sure and uh, you've got easy access to almost everything so however i have to go back to istanbul and get a few things done and uh, so as i said that was like the most happening part in in Istanbul uh, in uh, Ankara so that's like I don't know how things are going for the moment there you can see a nice pub on the roof so the good part is things have started to open up things are opening up so that's like really nice to see like that's an amazing BMW. He's trying to get out. Oh, Azan. Turk Telecom. Behind we had Turk Cell. And that's like another cafe. Sushi and noodles. That's nice. So like the streets almost never ending, it just keeps on going. We have a Burger King out here as well, the Burger King is slightly expensive, I don't know why. So then that's Kaveh Dunyasi, that's quite famous around over here. One of the local well known brands. So. I guess that's about it for the street and I made, showed you like as much as possible out here and uh, Pastin Larry and Bistro so that's like what we have in this uh, city I don't know it's not as big as Istanbul is but it's like still quite big so I just gave you a walk, so like anyone wants to watch the uh, Hindi, the Urdu version, will have to watch the other video. Thanks for watching.